Hey everyone, it's Steph from Express Fit for Life and Happy New Year. I just want to wish you all the best for 2017 or 18 or 19 or whatever year you are planning on improving your life. So many of us create resolutions, goals, affirmations at this time of the year because we want a new fresh start. We are feeling motivated, we are feeling the effects of unscheduling from the holiday season and therefore we are craving our routine again. So this is the perfect time to set up something positive for yourself. So before I go into detail about any of those, I want you to take a moment and get yourself a recipe card, just a small little recipe card. You can get them at the dollar store. You can even cut out just a small little piece of paper. And the biggest key about your goals is that you want to put them somewhere where you're gonna see them on a daily basis. They should be written down. If you don't write them down or if you enter them into your phone, they're not going to be working for you. They're not gonna give you power. So you need to put them down on paper. There's power there. And then I always suggest maybe sticking it on your bathroom mirror. It's a great place because you see it every day. Um, you can change um, this sort of the screen saver of your phone to have something that is a positive affirmation. You can go on Pinterest, you can go all over the World Wide Web, and maybe it's a word that you're going to use um, for your year. Um, my aunt always told me a story about how every January she comes up for um, the entire year a word, and it might be something like believe, or inspire or positive whatever it is she usually will purchase something with her word of the year on it and then it's somewhere in her home to remind her to set that intention for the year so that's another great great tip I know I'm doing that this year and I have it in my home where I can see it nobody really knows what it means it's just a fun uplifting positive word and um, it can be your own personal thing that's kind of like a hidden reminder in your home. So um, if you are writing down your goals, I want you to remember this. Do not use negative language. So many times we come to the beginning of the year and our resolutions look like I want to quit, um, whatever it might be, smoking, maybe eating unhealthy, whatever it is, there, there's that I want to quit. There's the word I want to lose and there's a word I want to change. These are three very negative uh, emotional words. So I want instead for you to rethink how you write these down. Instead of I want to lose weight, write down I am at my ideal body weight. And that will just change your perspective. It just feels lifted, it feels lighter. It's a fresher, new, more positive spin on your goals and affirmations. Your affirmations have to have the word, I am. Something that is, you already are there to really create that sense of success and help get you there. If your mind believes it, your body will soon follow. So not, I will be at my ideal body weight, that's too much to say anyways. I'm at my ideal body weight or I feel strong and healthy. I create balance in my life between busy and rest. Whatever it is, create something that's gonna really work for you, something really positive, and if you have a family or a partner, get them involved as well, and really, really share your goals and dreams with someone close to you. The bigger your dream is, the bigger you want your collective pool to know about it, so they can encourage you and help you along your way. So those are two things that I definitely would say are my best tips for your first day of the new year and any time that you want to start a new fresh goal. And maybe your new year doesn't start on January 1st, maybe it starts on the 4th, maybe it starts on February 14th. It doesn't matter when it starts, the truth is is that success is found in the things you do in and out every day. You would not slash all four of your tires if you got a flat tire. You would never ever do that. So don't squish your dreams just because you have one bad meal or one bad day or one bad week, whatever it is, forgive yourself and move on. This is a life to be left and lots of knowledge is to be gained from it. So I just want to encourage you to keep going, keep trying again and know that with small wins done every single day will help you out. We will know that you'll get to your goal. So ready for some realistic advice, ready for things that work, Hang out here, share this with a friend, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me.